Hey family, much love to you all. I was gonna do a video outside and um, cause it's beautiful outside. And I was like constantly bombarded by all these dragonflies kept coming around. First it was one, and then it was like two. And it was kind of like stuck together. And you know, I was like ducking and dodging. And then I'm like, girl, these dragonflies are not gonna bother you. You know, obviously it's your vibration. You know, um, they don't see um, you as a threat, okay? But for the most part, you know, um, this is the season for dragonflies to be out. Um, it was just weird how all of a sudden I was seeing them, you know? Sorry for the back background noise. My little queen is doing her. But it was just weird how, like, all of a sudden I was just seeing these dragonflies flying all around me. And I'm like, okay, uh, let me just go back in here. But um, it's very magical when you see them, you know, when they're flying around. I think about butterflies, you know, one minute you see them and the next you don't. And then all of a sudden I saw like a beautiful feather floating in the sky. I mean, it was floating in the air, you know. Um, very low to the ground, it was just floating around. It was like a baby feather, you know, and I was gonna like run and catch it, but I said, no, if it's meant for me, it'll come to me, okay? It's floating around, you know, and it's going to land it in somebody's path, okay? Because it wasn't in my path, it wouldn't cross my path, but I saw it, it, it was beautiful. The real small, gray, um, baby-like, um, bird feather, shall I say, or angel feather, but it was beautiful. I hope all is well with your family, your sister to just checking in, and uh, the energy has really been strong, let me just say that. I'm sure many of you have been um, noticing it. I call them birth pains. That's, that's my new name for it when it comes to these energies that's hitting us. Um, coming from the sun, I, I call it birth pains, okay? It's, it's all about, you know, upgrade and, you know, a lot of people are definitely waking up and um, becoming more conscious as far as what's going on around them and what's going on in the world, and that's a wonderful thing. Um, I knew that this was going to happen, shall I say, but now just because people are waking up, um, it doesn't mean that they are spiritual. Let me just say that. A lot of people are just more conscious to where they're asking questions than before they wasn't. You know, a lot of people were just going on with the flow and... You know, it was never, you know, instead of just taking in anything that the media has to say as those, you know, facts and, you know, um, as though whatever the media say it is. Now people are questioning, you know, the media, you know, they're questioning the news, they're questioning authority. And that's a good thing because as I stated before, they were not doing that. And um, so that's definitely, you know, uh, good to see, okay, and uh, but as I stated, just because people are waking up from that perspective, it still doesn't mean that they're spiritual, and that's okay. You know, we are all different. Um, it was a time when I wasn't spiritual, let me just say that. Um, I was religious, you know, um, in the beginning, but I wasn't spiritual. Um, but I always had, you know, those uh, paranormal experiences in my life, and um, I didn't really see it as in the same aspect the way I see it now, you know. Um, I, I always saw it as creepy, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I guess you could say from the perspective of when it comes to religious, you know, you think, oh, you know, um, my family's cursed or, you know, um, what's going on with me, you know, what did I do, you know, for me to be having these experiences, you know, you, know, you question yourself and um, you also will question things, shall I say, as far as, you know, um, that you may have brought to your home, you know, um, little do you know, you know, you are just, you are this beacon, shall I say, and it is a gift, but you don't see it as a gift, uh, all you know is you have these experiences and they are very frightening, especially if you, uh, are not aware of what it is, you know, you, you know, you're not aware of what's going on, you know what I'm saying, and due to ignorance, you know, um, people have actually cracked up as far as having these experiences, um, 
going on, going on around, around them, like paranormal experiences, you know, a lot of people have actually, you know, been committed um, in the psych ward when really they're not crazy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they're just not being supported by family and loved ones because they too don't understand what's going on, you know? And so I truly believe it's a lot of people who are in the psych ward, they're not crazy. Um, they have just truly opened up, okay? And um, spirit spiritually, they have truly opened up and um, they don't know how to handle the gift, shall I say, and they have no one to talk to, um, to keep them in an even, you know, state of um, being, shall I say, to where, you know, they're not, um, you know, feeling like it's something wrong with them, you know, uh, they're not feeling like they're being attacked due to something that they're doing, you know, uh, or thinking they're being cursed, you know, um, like I said, it's, it's the lack of, you know, knowledge for all of us when we don't know, you know. And um, for me, as far as my experiences, you know, they, they go all the way back to my childhood. You know, see my first UFO, and that was like in the sweat 70s. I believe it was, what, 77? My cousin was born in 76, so I always remember. I always remember, because she was born in 76, and I'm older than her. And uh, I remember she was in a little swing, a rocking swing, and, um, my aunt and my mom then back in the day they used to party they'd be in the kitchen and my aunt stayed in the apartment and she had these steps the high steps in the back and my cousin my brother them they, they was you know playing and i couldn't go anywhere because i had to you know watch her but i was old enough to watch her i just had to stay put and watch her while she was you know up there on the um steps and i was like maybe two or three steps below but i was looking at her and i was also watching my brother and cousin I'm playing but I never forget you know um you know it was definitely 77 because she couldn't walk you know she's one of those little high swings you know just swinging and you know I, I've said the story many times on my channel um but one of the kids or somebody said oh look and we saw this big old big old UFO okay you know it presented itself to us because we were children you know um but it was huge, and, and it was definitely low. It was low enough to I could see all the lights going around it. It was like this metallic disc, you know, UFO, and it was quiet. And I, I don't even recall hearing any sound. You know, a lot of people hear this humming sound. I don't recall hearing any sound. All I know is it was quiet, and it was rotating. You know, the lights were just flickering all around, and it had these chambers underneath it. It was low enough and close to us enough to where you could look up under it. And we were doing like this, and it had like lights up under it. I think it was like maybe two rows of lights. Or not, how can I say this? It, 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 had, a, it had a part up under it where it was going this way, rotating, and then it had another. It, 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 was, it was like a circle within a circle. You know, the, the object itself was round, but underneath it, it had lights going around it, but underneath it, it was rotating. Okay, and then it was another small circle part of it underneath it. It was rotating, but one was going this way and the other one was going you know, counterclock. And we were just looking, and they all and, and each one had lights flipping all around it. And plus it was moving. We were just looking like, and it had windows around the actual object. And I was looking, cause I was like, I wanted to see, you know, what was looking out at us, but all I know is time stood still. And I felt like as though I couldn't move it. I wanted to move so bad. I wanted to run those steps and tell my mom, look what we saying. But it's like time stood still. But from there, you know, I've always had like weird experiences, you know, coming up. But they were my experiences, okay? They were my experiences. So um, had I ever had an experience like that before, even though I do still see light ships in the sky, I haven't had that experience since as far as seeing an actual UFO that close. You know, and as I stated, we were children. We were children back then, so, you know, maybe that's why, you know, the fact due to innocence, you know, we were able to have that experience, you know, but I remember it to, to this day, you know, and it stays with me. But anyway, um, as I stated, 
due to having paranormal experiences and all. Um, the way I look at it, you know, when you're in your heart space, especially knowing what I know now, when you're in your heart space and you're not low vibrational, when you're in your heart space and you're not low vibrational, okay, um, you can't do nothing but have good experiences and attract good things to you. Okay, even those things that you think might be, you know, um, negative, if no harm is coming to your dwelling place, look at it this way, you have a testimony, you've seen it, okay, and you know it's true because you've seen it for yourself, okay, living God allow you to see it, it's like the mystery of the kingdom, you know, many people will see it, many won't, many people will see other things, Okay. Even those things that they think not, as far as they don't think it, it exists, it does. Okay, everything is like on different dimensions. Okay, I and mean, everything is due to, you know, one frequency as far as what you're going to experience as well as what you're going to see. And these energies that are coming in now. Ooh, it's kicking people butts. I talked about this, what, a year ago? Actually, two years ago, okay? But leading up to it, I talked about it also the first of the year. It's kicking people butts. For those of you that have been rocking with your sister and watching me, you know I talked about this, how it's going to be affecting a lot of people. Those that are in their heart space and they're in a good place vibrationally, they're going to attract more good things to them, you know, better experiences to them, Okay? And those that are already low vibrational is going to, wow, intense. Those energies are going to, you know, intense as far as those that are already low vibrational. Um, whether it be to the, whether it be their experiences. Or just the individual period, you know, their character, you know, you're going to see them becoming more dark and, you know, even when they were wearing a mask, you know, uh, that mask is going to come off. And you can see that now in the conscious community, so they say, okay. And I don't look at one person that's popular um, should be the poster boy or poster sister for the conscious community. We're all a collective, shall I say. And um, I say, you know, don't, do not be worshiping man, you know, uh, worship the divine that's within you, the most high God source, you know, um, not people, okay? But a lot of people get so caught up in people to where when they fall or they see them fall or they see them acting in a strange way and they're like, hold up, what happened? You know, who is this? Um, yeah. Let me just say this. Those layers, the those layers about them when it comes to their shadow self that they never heal from oh yeah it's going to intensify and magnify with these energies coming in and that's what you're seeing you know with um i'm going to say young p okay and i'm keeping him in my prayers i, I don't put nobody down on this channel okay because you know uh you read what you sow but you know somebody talking about you okay and people gonna talk about you anyway you know what's the one thing about me is none of my business but I do care. I, I don't try to put nobody down. I, I, I try to keep it real, okay? I did state that with these energies coming in, depending depending on where you are. I mean, if you know I said this, depending on where you are, it's, it's going to magnify and, and intensify. And people cannot see it from the outer layer, okay? It, it's, it's what's inside of you, okay? And the Bible say, how great is that darkness? You know, it's going to intensify. You're dealing with some demons, but you being able to keep it, you know, under wraps, or shall I say, and when these energies coming in, and you're in a state of being low vibrational, well, that darkness is going to increase within you, okay? But that's one life path that they have to work out, okay? What's going on with YP, you know, we keep him in prayer, but that is his life path, you know? Uh, it's something, you know, he, he, he's going to have to work out, 
that's it and it goes for any of us okay when it comes to our issues and it comes to our shadow selves okay it is for us to transmute that darkness that is within us okay don't don't think i haven't been there because in the beginning of my spiritual awakening I, that's all i talked about that's my video they go all the way back what six years maybe seven years now you know that's all i talked about you know as far as my challenges and overcoming them okay but it was a process it was a process and, and if you're spiritually open and, you, and you're trying to overcome those, those those demons those shadow layers of you oh my goodness it's going to meet you on the inside and for those whose spiritual sight is not awakened okay they will see it they will see it out here what's going on inside of you the chaos you're going to see it out here as far as you know how what's going on inside of you is affecting you outwardly okay you, you acting out okay and you making poor judgment taking substance whether it be alcohol drugs you know because all alcohol and drugs do is open you up but it also lower your spiritual defenses i talked about this before and it's a lot of things I talked about. A lot of people turn a deaf ear to what I was saying. You know, I don't just be talking, just be talking. You know, I'm led by the Spirit, and my higher self revealed information to me. And it has not stirred me wrong. Okay? And, and I think I'm too transparent. You know, a lot of people want you to tickle their ears and tell you what, you know, what they want to hear. You know, but, I, I, you know, it don't work that way. You know, I am that I am. I'm just being true with myself. And my experience is not going to be like everyone experiences. They're not. But I say make the best out of, you know, your circumstances, family. And do, and do put the work in. Do it daily. Put the work in. Get out in nature. It heals like no other. I was at the park the other day. Even you stay in an apartment or a townhome, it ain't no excuse. You can go to a park. Okay? Just get out in nature, period. Get some fresh air. Take the mask off. Get some fresh air. Get out in nature. Meditate. All, all of this is free. You don't have to, it, it doesn't cost anything. Meditation is free. Getting out, going outside is free. Planting your feet, take your shoes off is free. Being in your heart space is free. All of this stuff is free, but we love to just pay for things that we think, that we think is going to fix us. And all it does is put a band-aid on it. You know, it, it, it doesn't really, you know, like like my sisters who, who who want to fix those little parts of them when it comes to the image. You know, they pay for the boobs, the fake boobs, the, the fake butt implants, you know, whatever the case may be. And that's fine, do you. But what I'm saying is, it's really how you feel about yourself. It starts on the inside. You know, we can do all of that. And you to come to change them by hair. We can do all of that. And if you still don't feel right on the inside, all you're doing is putting a Band-Aid on it. You know, but the, the problem's not solved, you know. But anyway, um, that's why I had got to the point, you know, I'm going to be true to myself. I'm going to be authentic. And, you know, I'm not trying to put, you know, uh, I'm not trying to wear no mask for nobody, you know. Uh, I'm just now getting to the point of loving, being, loving myself as far as all of me, as far as all of me. Okay, by rocking my own natural hair. It was a time where I was just wearing wigs, and there's nothing wrong with wearing wigs. Okay, I, I went through that process, and people still wear them. It's all good. I have family members that wear them. What I'm saying is, I'm talking about me. I'm just not getting to that point to where I'm being natural, and it was a process for me because I was still having issues with what I was seeing in the mirror, and, and it's very sad. But when you get to that, well, when you get to that place, like for me, when I got to that place of just I had to speak life over myself. I had to see good things about me. You know, I love my eyes. I love my curly, kinky hair. You know, you really you really have to love yourself and try to see good things about you, okay? And not feel validated by no one. It has to be what you think about you, okay? People call you names. I don't receive it. It's what I think about me that matters, okay? Not what others say, okay? Even it comes to one's gift, your gifts will speak for itself. But it's the most high God who qualifies. But your gifts will speak for itself. I don't care if you're a singer, you know, you're someone good with your hands or whatever. You know, you have life skills, you know, you're good with fixing things or whatever. You know, you're an artist, painter, you know, a musician, whatever. Your gift speaks for itself. 
And as I stated, it is the Most High God who qualifies. But people that know what they know, they know, okay? And and there's no need to look for looking for validation in people. Look for it in the Most High God, and you will know. And you will know what you know because He was He 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 will bless you with more gifts, more talents, okay? Especially when you're using it for good and you're using it for the right reason, okay, family? But getting back to these energies, yeah, they're kicking a lot of people's butts, you know? But I don't see it as a negative thing. Oh, let's talk about our brothers and sisters. Oh, they're falling by the wayside. Let's pray for them, okay? Because, you know, nobody knew what I was going through in my humble beginnings, you know, but I had... You know, the most high God was with me. I was never alone. Even though you may even though you may feel like you're alone, you're never alone. God is with you. God is is within you, okay? The most high God is within all his children. But as I stated, when it comes to light and darkness, it's what you choose to experience. A lot of people choose to experience the things of the darkness. That's their choice. Do you have those who choose to experience the things of the light? It is their choice. But at the end of the day, there must be both. There must be both. Okay? It's all about balance. There must be both because in order for there to be light, you know, as far as you encountering the light, the spiritual light, you must go into the darkness to bring out your light, okay? That's how that works, okay? You must go into the darkness to bring out your light. Even, you know, when you look at it, when it comes to life, people have challenges, okay? But it's what you do when you is having those challenges, you know, you know. At the end of the day, it's like a test. It's what you do when you are experiencing these challenges. You know, are you going to fold? Or are you going to speak life over yourself? Are you going to fold due to what the world's saying about you and, you know, and uh, going to victim mode? Or are you going to rise up to the challenge? Speak life over yourself. I'm telling you what I know. Say, I can't, I have, I can't, I have, even when you don't have. I can't, I have, I can't, I have. Even when you don't feel it. <laughs> okay? You look in the mirror, speak life over yourself. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but good things can come out of it, family, because you're speaking life. Okay? It's life and death and the power of our tongue. When we speak life over ourselves, okay? Because, see, this is something that's real positive. You're taking it in. Eventually, you're going to start believing it. And the universe is listening also. The God within is hearing you also. That I can, I have, I can't, I have. I love myself. That's what you're going to draw to you. That's that's what has been drawn to me. More good things. Having good and more positive experiences. Okay? My gifts increasing strongly. When the vine within me told me, cause I, you know, even though I might do a little reading on myself, okay? Um, trying to connect with the, my spirit guides. And when I got the okay, and I and I got the uh, message saying you're ready, I'm like, wow, okay, it's saying I'm ready. I went for it, and I believed. I didn't procrastinate. When the spirit saying you're ready, you are ready. Okay, when the spirit saying you're ready, you are ready. Just. Tell that brain of yours to shut up and respond to you're ready, okay? That little voice on the inside is trying to, you know, uh, have you thinking you're not good enough and you can't do it. Uh -uh. The Spirit's saying you're ready, you are ready, okay? Just believe and be, okay? Just believe and be, that's all. But um, many of you are going to be just fine. You know, um, let love be your guide. <clears throat> let love be your guide. And, you know, keep on doing, putting the work in. You know, um, I don't know if many of you are into crystals. If you're not, that's okay. But they have a lot of healing crystals. You know, if you're led by the spirit, you know, it will let you know which one that you can use um, on a daily you know, or which one that you may need, especially when it comes to your chakras, because like, your chakras are blocked, you know, um, that can create, you know, some imbalance within you, and there must be balance, okay? But that can happen with any of us, okay? But um, 
those crystals can help open you up, all right? As far as bringing balance with your chakras. Especially when it comes to your manifestation, you definitely want all your chakras are in alignment. That's the point I'm trying to make. But um, anyway, family, um, I had somebody tell me a while back, it was like, oh, uh, you know, you shouldn't be worshiping stones, blah, 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 blah. Nobody worships stones. Nobody is worshiping any tarot cards. They are tools. Stones have been here before we have been here, okay? Crystals have been here before we've been here. Gold, silver, you name it, okay? And at the end of the day, they are the most high God creation, okay? And nobody is worshiping these things. But the most high God, everything that we need, okay, when it comes to healing, it is in the earth, okay? Everything we need. So what? Don't worship um, herbs. It comes from the earth. Stones, they come from the earth. And they, and they do have healing properties as well as they hold information because they've been here a long time. Oh, boy, people, they take things and run with it. But I love them from where they are, okay? But anyway, I'm just saying, you know, uh, they are very beneficial. That's all. That's the only point I'm trying to make. I can only speak for myself. But anyway, um, like I said, I used to be religious, religious too. And anything somebody say, I feel that, mm-mm, uh, that's kind of off. You know, I, I was shunned from it. And um, that's what we do. This is when we're uh, hearing somebody talk about something that we feel that's um, not correct, shall I say. Especially due to being, you know, um, raised as far as when it comes to, you know, the, the word or whatever. But anyway, uh, I, I truly feel like it's how we really interpret the word. You know, everybody interprets it differently. But uh, I do love the word, and I do read the word, and I do know the word for myself, okay? And everybody forgot, Satan knows it as well, okay? He knows it as well. Whatever you want to call it, spiritual wickets, spiritual wickets in high places know the word as well. And and knows our weakness, and that's what we need to make. That's why we all need to guard ourselves, okay? Guard ourselves, guard our energy. As I stated, the sun is, you know, it's uh, getting off its solar flares, and it can affect you know, us down here can affect our, you know, the Earth Gaia. It can affect our energy. It can throw us off. You know, that's why I say there must be balance. Make sure you get grounded, family, connect with Earth Gaia. Make sure, you know, you're eating healthy. You know, get those veggie and fruits in you. And um, it's, it's about a choice. I, I, I do sun gaze. Um, it's beneficial for me. Uh, make sure, you know, you're doing a lot of praying and meditating. Definitely meditate, okay? It'll keep you grounded. Um, that's, these are the ways you can connect with your guides, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit, you know, with the source period. It's going within yourself, you know. Even though source is all around us, you know, you have a universe within you. Go within yourself and get those answers, okay? Um, connect within, okay? The phone is ringing. You got to pick it up. Connect within, okay? And um, at the end of the day, you know, um, you're going to be just fine, family. You know, be in your heart space and stay grounded, okay? This alone will help you this alone will help you as far as keeping your frequency where it needs to be. So when these uh, energies are coming in, okay, you're going to manifest that that you already are, all right? So as I say, when you see all this chaos going on with people, you see things for what it is, okay? You will see things for what it is. Because it's really exposing a lot of things that's going on around us when it comes to people. As I say, they're acting out. And, you know, these energies just have people making a lot of poor choices also, okay? They're making a lot of poor choices. And um, but at the end of the day, it's whatever those choices are, it's a lesson. And um, these energies, I, I look at it as money. It, it, it's magnifying that, that we are on the inside. Everything starts on the inside, okay? So just be mindful. Protect your energy, family. Protect your energy. When it comes to people, try not to be so attracted to people. Look at the outer appearance, okay? It's, it's all about the inner appearance that matters, okay? It's what... It's what going on with the individual on the inside and be led by the spirit be led by the spirit not what you think that's guessing be led by the spirit okay even if you don't like what you're feeling that's a good thing the main thing is heed what you're 
feeling, okay? Don't be procrastinating. And this is what we do, okay? Try to learn to be led by the Spirit. It will not steer you wrong. Now, I know I said a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of, but that's what I do. I didn't mean to make this video that long. I just wanted to show you some love. I just wanted to check in, family, and, um, you know, keep fighting the good fight over here, okay? Um, all is well, okay? Protect your energy. And um, those that we see that are having difficulties right now in the conscious community, just keep them in prayer. And um, a lot of them, you pretty much see that true character anyway, okay? A lot of people are just being exposed, okay? But, you know, um, that's their problem, and um, it's part of their life path that they have to work out for themselves, okay? Because as I stated, when it comes to the shadow work, you know, we, there's something that we all have to get to that place of working on, okay? Or it will work on us, okay? Or it will work on us. Please know that. Stop putting the band-aid on, thinking, you know, it's a non-factor. Oh, it can be a factor, all right. Please know that. And it can really destroy us if we don't face it, own it, and heal, okay? I love you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And bye for now.